What's up, guys, and welcome back to Fishing the North Atlantic. Today, we are actually going to be fishing for tuna, mostly because they're sitting at like $20 a pound, which, that's some really good money. So, we're definitely going to try to hit those guys up. I've been doing a lot of swordfish lately, and... Um, yeah, the prices for tuna have just been going up, so I'm like, why am I doing swordfish? Let's bait our lines with herring and target the tuna instead. That and I'm not really close to my mark on uh, hitting up the tuna for my quota. So I definitely want to get some of them guy in there. Oops, I don't want you preparing. I want you to haul some deep line. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to haul in our eight deep lines and see how well we do. Uh, there was definitely a lot of tuna and swordfish in this area. As you can see, I did like a little swerve there. Lots of fish in this area, so hopefully we'll do all right. And I'm pretty sure I set my buoys down where the depth was at least 100 yards. Hopefully it was at least 100 yards, otherwise we're not going to do so well. Yeah, there we go, 100 yards. So I think I did all right. Um, when I get pretty close, I like to throttle down to around half throttle. And when it goes green, we press and hold E. Oh man, we only got one, and it's a swordfish. Oh, that's not a good sign. This is not a good start, guys. Oh, this is not a good start. At least he was 500 pounds. I've pulled in two where I've only gotten like five or 600 pounds on swordfish, so at least that one was a big boy. Not as big as we'd hoped, but look at this. These yellow guys right here, this is all tuna. And I don't understand why they're not the ones that were on that line. But, I mean, we've got seven more. We, we, should be able to, we, we should be able to pull this off. I would think we could pull this off. Ineffective shallow water. Oh, you got to be kidding me. With all that tuna? Ugh. Well, here's one tuna. They can get up to 2,000 pounds. That one was only 500 as well. Oh man, guys, I think I just made a horrible, horrible mistake. But we're at 102 yards. Why did it say shallow? Uh, I don't know, guys. I was expecting this to be a monster haul. I really was. With all this tuna around, and it's more than 100 yards, so maybe we got to go deeper than 100 yards? I mean, if that's the case, then fine. Ooh, there's some swordfish right out there. Man, I'm starting to regret spending the money to bait for tuna. I figured this would have been a hot spot. Shallow water. Yep. We're going to have to go deeper than 100 yards. This is not going to be a very good haul at all. But I wanted to show you guys this part of bringing in the fish uh, yeah unfortunately now it's saying 92 see all this was like 110 yards when I first passed over so I'm not sure about all this something seems a little wonky and it's only getting worse oops crap I just passed one of my buoys well I mean what can you do other than just grin and bear it right um, you don't always get lucky when fishing I mean as long as I get at least one on each line then I guess I'm okay it's just not going to be a very good sell. I mean, it, it's going to be an okay sell. It's just not going to be as good as I had hoped. Um, by now, we should have been at like 6,000 pounds. 
but it's saying that the water's shallow. So I guess we have to be deeper than when this says like 100 yards. Why it changed is beyond me. Because like I said, this was all at like 110 yards when I set these buoys down. I don't know why it's not showing that. But, you know, whatever. It's just a game. Try not to get upset about it like I have with other games. Um, but yeah. Well, at least we got one. I would love to just get like a monster tuna, man. Have one come in at over a thousand pounds. Three hundred. Yikes. I could have done this with my small hold. <laughs> Uh this is frustrating. The moment I the moment I'm like, yeah, you know I'm doing good, I'll go ahead and uh throw on a recording and we'll do some recording. Show how this is how we do this and all that good stuff and I end up getting punked. <laughs> oh, that's alright though. Never let it be shown that uh new dog doesn't show the good and the bad. <laughs> At least you guys know I'm not cheating. <laughs> I just wasn't paying attention to my depth finder well enough, I guess. Well, Sadie, I think you're going to be eating ramen noodles on our next, next fishing trip out, so uh, sorry about that. And a sortie. That was only okay? What? Whatever. Next. We got two more. <laughs> and we are not looking good. We've got 9,000 pounds remaining. Ugh. At least most of our fish so far have been tuna. So hopefully that'll help make up some of the difference in um, profit. Especially if we can get 20 plus dollars a pound, that'd be really, really helpful. Or, yeah, 20 plus dollars a pound. That'd be really helpful um, since I screwed this up royally. Man, I feel like such an idiot. I could have swore the depth was way deeper than it is. Another sortie. How was that perfect? I'll take it, but really? He was only 315 pounds. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not even going to get half of my hold. Man, that's a real bummer. What the? So I guess I really need to be in this colored water. Or darker maybe I should go back up here I mean, that's an idea I could come back down over here you know I haven't been out here I might try out here next time either way I'm baiting for tuna again and I'm definitely gonna be hunting tuna as long as the prices stay high I think Lunenburg has some pretty good prices, and Lockport, I think. I'm not even worried about the prices for the swordfish right now, because I, I ain't got nothing for swordfish. That's a tuna. We'll take that. That tuna weighed more than the frickin' swordfish. <laughs> Alright, Sadie, go back to resting. We're gonna check finances here. Let's see, tuna Yarmus at 2020. 2035 at Lockport, which we're close to. Alright, Lockport it is.
do, 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 do. right there. Let's see what the damage is. This is not going to be good. Sell the catch. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Only 70,000. I mean, I'm at 726,000, but 70,000, that hurts my soul. <laughs> we only caught 2,000 pound of, of tuna. Ugh. Whatever, we'll sell it. Yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to do. Let's go to the bar. We got a port delivery mission we can do. I may do that off camera. There's no need for you guys to see that. We could go three days ago for tuna. No, am I lucky to be really bad, but. We'll take it, see where it puts us. Um, let's go to the fish market. We're going to bait our deep lines. We're going to do herring again because it targets tuna. Let's get all eight of our lines done with that. I should be good on fuel. Maybe not. I did travel all the way south. And we'll purchase some fuel. We'll repair what minor damage we had to the boat. And what kind of loan can I get here? Just out of curiosity. 400,000. Uh, that would put me at over a million. Hmm. I'm debating this, guys. Because if I get this, then that means I will be able to pick up the one boat that I really want, the uh, the other Harpoon Deep Line boat, which holds more Deep Lines, too, by the way. And that would be the Full Throttle. That sells at 795000 And then I can get rid of the Lily because I would already have a Harpoon Deep Line boat. I may keep the Lily. I, don't, I really don't want to sell any of the boats that we get. I'm going to go ahead and take this loan. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? I did. Crap. There we go. Um, well, I just got an extra $120,000, but whatever. Um, uh, I'm going to do one more fishing trip, and then the next time I see you guys, it'll hopefully be to buy that new boat. And we'll do a boat tour and all that good stuff. So, either way, guys, um, this was a horrible, horrible fishing trip. I do apologize for that. Um, at least hopefully you got some comic relief out of it. Um, I know I did. I, I'm, I'm actually smiling. I really am as as bad as that was. I just can't help but laugh. But uh, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you next time.